I'm just saying, <clears throat> eventually you're just going to have to go. Like if this is father and daughter, and he's like, yo, you got to go. You know, you better go find a mate or learn how to hunt or do something. You know, or maybe he's talking to him about him like, you know, you got to find a dude, you know. You're not meant to live with your parents for, you know, longer than... Like 20 years. You know, because eventually you stop at, you just stop depending on your parents to hold your arms while you walk. You know what I mean? You should have some kind of direction by then. Show direction, at least. You know? Be very successful and live at home. You know, help. Help out. You know? Show me mean business. Like, oh, your kid? Oh, he's 35? Oh, he still lives at home? Oh. You think, oh, head injury. You know? You think something like that. You're like, well, is he okay? What? Does he work? Like, if he's a lawyer and he lives at home and you guys, like, split everything? Hey, man, that's now you're a roommate. You know, you gotta be ready for anything that comes at you at that point. He's like, oh, this is half my house. I'm having a party. You know, now you're having a party. It's not good. I don't know. I think you might be giving her the boot. They could be like, yo, you gotta go. Or maybe they're in a bad part of the relationship and he's like, yo, go sit over there in the dark for a minute. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, frustration. <laughs>